What does great leadership coaching look like? First, leadership coaches focus on one thing and one thing only, helping you significantly accelerate your development as a leader. Leadership coaches are not therapists, counselors, or life coaches. Leadership coaches do not provide advice on personal relationships or on balanced lives. Leadership coaches are neither sounding boards for the myriad of organizational problems, nor scratching posts for complaints about your unappreciative boss. These coaches are, however, single-minded in helping you identify ways to increase your impact as a leader and taking action to ensure that this happens. Second, coaches expect great things from you. Leadership coaches are not there to help you craft a stunning slide deck, fine tune your personality, or select your next power suit. You will not be coddled by a good coach. A good coach will challenge you to engage in a rigorous process of honest self-assessment, deep personal exploration, and highly committed action planning, and execute. Coaches expect you to make a major shift in your performance as a leader and invest the time and effort required to do so. Third, leadership coaches work only with successful leaders. Quite frankly, if you're failing miserably as a leader, coaching is not for you. Remedial coaching rarely works. That being said, a good leadership coach will encourage you to let go of those much-loved behaviors and attitudes that may have made you successful in the past, but are likely holding you back from achieving your next chapter as a leader. Fourth, coaches are your most ardent and fierce advocates. Everything a coach does, from confronting your assumptions to identifying your unused strengths, is done in service of you and your career. Coaches are unwavering in seeing your potential for extraordinary leadership, even if sometimes you do not. Great coaches will confront you when you sell yourself short and will settle for nothing less than your very best as a leader. Fifth, coaches insist that you always be moving forward. Becoming a better leader is a difficult journey. You will experiment with new leadership concepts, test your values, and reframe old relationships. You will certainly stumble along the way. Criticism, self-doubt, and failure will haunt you, but a good coach will challenge you to reflect learn from the experience, and keep moving forward. Sixth, coaches will tell you things others will not. Without increased self-awareness, leaders cannot grow. Substantial, sustained development can only occur in an environment that is rich in feedback. This is pretty obvious. Here's the tough part. You are wrong. No matter how self-aware you think you are, your perception of your leadership impact is wrong to some degree. This is true for all of us. Coaches help you gain a fresh perspective by providing you with sometimes hard to hear raw, unvarnished feedback that is nearly impossible to obtain from those with whom you work every day. While coaches use very potent 360 assessments and other forms of organizational feedback, good coaches are particularly generous with their personal reactions, feelings, and critique. Seventh, leadership coaches are not easily impressed. Save your time and energy for more fruitful pursuits. Don't bother trying to impress them with your strategic thinking, articulate speech, creative mind, and personable nature. Those are all wonderful traits and abilities. However, coaches believe that leaders are measured by one thing and one thing only, their positive impact on their teams and organizations. They'll ask you questions like this. Do others perform at a higher level because of you? Are they more aligned, more engaged, more committed, more innovative? Do they produce more? Are they better leaders because of you? Show us a marked improvement in these things, then coaches will be impressed. Eighth, coaches rarely provide advice or recommendations. Even though most coaches are pretty smart, educated, and experienced, any advice or recommendations provided by them will pale in comparison to those generated by you. Coaches believe that you are creative, resourceful, and fully capable of finding the best step forward for you as a leader. Coaches will walk with you, challenge you, encourage you, confront you, provoke you, and affirm you throughout the process, always having great faith in your ability to chart your own future as a leader. Ninth, unfortunately, leadership coaches have no easy answers for you. While good coaches respect the vast amount of research and writing in the field of leadership, 
they are not going to refer you to a bestseller promoting this month's nifty five-step leadership model that promises to turn you into some remarkable amalgam of Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Jack Welsh, and Mother Teresa overnight. What coaches will do, however, is to continually ask you to consider the four timeless questions that all leaders must confront. Number one, have I really earned the right to lead? Number two, do I really help others perform at their best? Number three, is my team extraordinarily innovative? And number four, do I create alignment throughout my organization? Tenth, leadership coaches have dangerous conversations in the crucible. Some coaching programs offer you a safe environment in which you can freely and confidentially discuss a wide range of issues. However, the best coaching sessions are distinctly unsafe and in fact are quite dangerous. Not dangerous because you are at risk of being hurt, but rather because these are crucibles in which unimportant issues are quickly burned away and full attention given to those issues that are most important to your success as a leader. It is in the crucible conversations that leadership passions are renewed, failures are forgiven, legacies are planned, relationships are reframed, and careers are redirected. Great leadership coaching might best be described as constructive confrontation with heart. It should be one of the most demanding experiences in your career and will be one of the most rewarding.